Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome back to the second part of my annual Christmas in July event. Today I'm going to share with you what I will give away this week and also the projects that I have created with these materials. So let's get started. So there will be eight chances for subscribers to win. And in order to win, all you have to do is comment on both videos, yesterday's and today's video. Let me know that you would like to win. Uh, in this YouTube uh, series, you can win four of these paper and topper packs. And then I give away another four on my Facebook craft group. European Paper Crafts Friends. So this is a private group. Please uh, join me in this group. Uh, just sign on and I will admit you if you're not a member yet so that you can win these um, paper packs. And then once you are on Facebook in the group, just, you know, create a little comment letting me know that you would like to win one of these packs. But what can you win? So there are eight paper and topper packs. And they're all a little different. So here I have created a variety pack for the paper boutique. So let's see what you could find in here if you are a winner. And here we have, first of all, beautiful cutouts with sentiments, with birdies and a little winter bunny, beautiful flowers and then we also have gnomes these are more like the nordic style gnomes see here with the i don't know if it's some nordic goat and then a couple more and then you have all kinds of pretty papers in here to uh, use up your to use them with your toppers. So I'm gonna do just a quick flip through because we have a lot to look at, but so that you just get an idea what you can win. Beautiful eight by eight papers. So these were the known papers and then here come the papers. Let's see what do we have here? Oh, it's a little fox. Very cute. Snowflakes. So very pretty papers. So this variety pack I will give away twice. And then I have these Kanban packs. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so you have beautiful die cut toppers with frames and borders. You have like an insert paper matching, and then again you have a matching cardstock. So this is basically a whole set. You could make cards with this. Then the next one, here we have a cute reindeer. And again we have a insert, and then a card blank cardstock. Again, look at this whole penguin family singing carols. Beautifully foiled. Look at those corners, just gorgeous. Again, an insert and another piece of cardstock. Yeah, each of these packs will be just slightly different with the uh, topper designs, but you always get three sets. So here again, we got cute penguins making those snow angels, the insert page, and 
a cardstock. We got some forest animals. And here we have polar bears. So in each of these packs, again, you get three of those sets with toppers, inserts, and a sheet of cardstock. And then I have two packs of these beautiful winter ladies. And these are also foiled and have these beautiful ladies there's also a greeting here best wishes and then you get them again in four different robes just lovely I like they even have different skin tones. Very nice. And wait until I show you the cards that I made with those. Really pretty. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous papers and toppers. And then you also get like a window pane that you can cut in half and set the lady in front of it. And then another one that you can cut apart with a wintry scene. So I have two of those to give away. Again, one on my YouTube channel and one on Facebook. So let's see what I have created with these packs. And here is my first card. And this is a big card. It's an A5 card and it actually measures Let's see, it measures eight and one quarter by five and three quarters. So it's a big card. Basically, I just folded in half the cardstock from the pack. And then I layered the uh, beautiful penguin topper, added the sentiment from the sheets, I had a little border here that I added to my card and then when you open it up here is the card insert that also will come with your pack and it says hope your Christmas is fun and festive and then when you turn it around so this makes a, a beautiful card that I think looks just like you would have bought it at a pretty uh, you know stationary store. And here I have, uh, this one is actually a tag embellishment and I just added a little bit of tool. Okay, so I didn't have to add any stickles here because it comes with this beautiful uh, silver foil accents. Another card that I have created is here with one of these winter animals and how cute is that? Totally different, of course, in red and green. So the typical Christmas colors. And all I did here is I added a little bit of a glitter border from a sticker sheet that I had uh, left over. Those stickers you can find in my store. Just um, you can search them under glitter borders but I'm also gonna link them below and then of course here the foiling is gold and how cute is that and then in the inside I also used a sentiment from the sheet wishing you lots of love and happiness at Christmas and I just added it as a panel okay so that is this card and then here um, again I made a card with one of these toppers and this was like a trip what do you call it a trip triptychon I don't know so with these three panels 
and uh, I'm sure that I pronounced that wrong. That's not how it's, but anyway, you, you, you see what I mean. It, you have the base page piece and then you add the three panels that uh, then come with these pads so that you have a dimensional layout. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, I made this uh, cutaway part card. I forgot about it. Yeah, so I had a card that is basically, oops, that's centimeters. Let's try this again. So I have a card that is five and a half by five and a half, but then I cut away an inch from each side. And then when I open it up, here I have my inside. And obviously I didn't do a good job here because that should have closed up so yeah I should have left a little I need to rework this it needs to have this little bit of an edge here so it doesn't squeeze the paper um, but here we go and then also on this part I have added one of the sentiments from the pack wishing you the most wonderful Christmas and this is this cutaway card all right, so these are the three cards that I created with the Kanban packs with uh, the penguins, the centers, and the wooden uh, critters. And now here is my first card for, let's take this away. Here's my first card for the winter ladies. And I think, let's see. Yeah, I think you can see it now. So what I have done here is I used the background paper, the window, and that's where you can see the window panes and then of course the moon shining through. I then added some glitter borders that I have in my stash. So I laid out those window panes and then also kind of the flow of the curtain. And then here is the pretty lady and I added another flower here and a star so you can see now how this became a really elegant Christmas card and as a topper I have here happy holidays and this is just a sticker that I had I thought that will would fit perfectly and then when you open up the card all I did here is I added a piece of white uh, printer paper so that you have this insert even though I didn't use one of the papers as insert I just used a blank so it makes it a little bit more elegant my next card is similar here again we have this beautiful lady in front of this window with a winter scene behind it and it already comes with a golden foil uh, edge and some golden uh, accents. So I didn't, again, have to use any other glitter. Enjoy your special day. And then here, a couple of poinsettia flowers for my stash. And here I did add some stickles just for the background so it looks like there is actually snow falling. Love these cards, very elegant, very sophisticated for a special person. And then with one of these smaller uh, toppers that uh, comes in the kit, I created another pocket. So here, um, Basically what I did is I um, had a long piece of paper which was, let's see, I had a strip of paper that was four and one quarter by 12 inches. And basically what I did is I just folded it so that I that it left a little bit of space up here. This is the paper. And then instead of gluing those two borders so that you, I have this uh, 
pocket here, I used washi tape because what happens is your pocket becomes a little bit, and I don't know if I can show you this, a little bit bigger because it is not it is not glued on the side. See how you have it all the way to the edge? Now if I would have glued it, it would be glued shut here and then the pocket is of course smaller. But because I left it open and I used this washi to uh, close both sides, now given that for my washi tape I did put double sided tape underneath because washi tape from in, you know I don't think it's strong enough to keep it permanently closed so I did put some um, glue tape be uh, behind it but now it's really um, closed so and then I just decorated the front in the pack there is this beautiful uh, frame and then I offset the picture added a little bit of extra uh, embellishments here with those holly leaves and then created a tag that could hold your uh, sentiment and this can basically be a supplement for a card and it would also give you a pocket for a gift card or if you give money for Christmas then um, it looks nicer to be in this pocket here than just sitting in a cart. I hope you like the cards and the pocket that I have created with the giveaway paper and topper packs. If you like to win one of these packs or even two, make sure that you comment on both videos, today's and yesterday's, and join me on Facebook at the European Paper Crafts Friends on Facebook for a second chance to win. Again, we are a private group and nice ladies who love to share our crafty adventures. So come and join us. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay or get well and happy crafting. I'll catch you next time. Bye.